Peter. I saw you as a son. I should have known you'd turn on me. Just like all the others. Turn. Turn? I've worshipped you. Your mind. Your conscience. Wanting to help others. The way you never gave up. That's because men like us have a duty. A responsibility. To use our talents in the service of others. Even if they don't appreciate it. We have to do what's best for those beneath us. Whether they understand it or not. No, you're wrong! You are everything I wanted to be! You just threw it away! Yes, of course. You're right, Peter. Oh, I see that now. The neural interface affected my mind. But I can fix it. We can fix it together. If you'll help me. Do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away, they'll take my arms. I'll be trapped in this useless body. Please, Peter. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course, you rest easy, knowing your secret is safe with me. You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. Peter? Even when it hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? Peter? Still viable. We'll need the entire sample as a base to produce more doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others. I'll give you a few minutes. gonna be okay, ma'am. I've got the cure right here. Take off your mask. I want to see my nephew. You knew? I've known for a while. I never wanted you to worry. I did. And I am so proud of you. And Ben would be too. All the people you saved. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do.
So? Hi, Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Congrats. Thank you. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what about you? Find a job yet? Oh, no, but, uh... I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, it's... You're a scientist. A good one. Yeah, the last project I worked on, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city, so... Yeah. I mean, you do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah. Still working on my dumplings, though. Going camping? Oh, uh, my uh, new place isn't gonna be ready for about a week, so I'm gonna be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. Oh. You know... You can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, yes. I mean, no, no. I don't. I not want to. But meaning, I, I, I do want to. But only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. I'm not an expert or anything, but I think it's in the way that you ask her. Uh, I'm getting too nervous. <laughs> hey, all right, so where do you want this? Uh, right over here is fine. All right. Hey, so Pete? Yeah? I, uh, kind of got to talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? Well, um, weird things have been going on. Like, physically. Oh. Oh. Uh. Well, you know, you're at that age where, where your, your body starts to change. And so you may be noticing some areas, no. for example. No. Not that. Uh. I think it's. I think it's better that I just, um. I show you. I show no, you. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> It's pretty weird, right? Not that weird.
were so close. But I'll keep trying. I will find a cure. I will. I love you, son.